welcome to a tutorial on how to install a water shader alpha version 3 um, on Mac OS X and Windows. I'll be doing both OS's uh, I'll tell you how to do it on both but I will be doing it on my Mac. Okay this should work for other versions unless he changes how to do it. Alright so if you go to the link in the description uh, I'll take you to the Minecraft forums page where it has uh, the thread if we scroll down, it'll give you all the download links and instructions on how to do it. And some people don't know how to do this, so I'm going to explain it really quick. So you can choose your download if you have a mod loader. Um, I won't go into detail with mod loader, but if you have mod loader, that's the download there. Um, there's two download links. Uh, one way, if you wish to support him, I guess that puts text somewhere. I'm not sure, but uh, if you want to support him more, you can download that one. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and download the normal version. Um, it's a very small file, uh, 60 kilobytes. So just download it there, save it. Okay, so you're going to need, on Windows you'll need WinRAR to unzip it. On Mac uh, that comes as standard. So just unzip. <coughs> and I've already downloaded this, so it's going to call it number 2. Um, just open up that in your uh, finder or your window um, and you'll see two uh, folders, one's called Minecraft, one called Shader so you're gonna, the first of the instructions is you're gonna copy the, the files from Minecraft folder to your Minecraft.jar so go ahead and find your Minecraft.jar, now this is gonna be different on both OS's, I'm gonna run it up through on Mac OS X um, but I'll put both uh, directories on the screen now um, so that's how to get it to it on Windows and Mac OS X. Alright, so let's run you through here. So we're going to open another finder or another window. And you're going to go to um, Macintosh HD, users, your name, um, and then you're going to go to library. And you must make sure you're on your name or whatever your account is called on your computer. Library, application support and you're going to scroll down and you're going to go on Minecraft um, none of the others, just Minecraft in lowercase so you'll be on your Minecraft directory now um, so the first of all to find your Minecraft jar it's going to be in your bin and then it'll be here now yours won't be a folder unless you modded it before now to do this on Mac OS X what you're going to need to do is unzip the .jar with the archive compiler I believe unless you have any other unzipping applications um, on Windows I believe you can open up the jar open in, op, open the jar in um, WinRAR so you can do it that way so just open open it up and you're going to see all your uh, Java files in here so just open up the Minecraft folder here and copy all the classes into here now I've already done it so it's going to ask me to replace um, they might actually ask to replace some uh, if you haven't done it before so just click replace to all and it'll put it all in there so that's step one done next you can go to step two so just come out of there and you're back into your bin file so and go back here and you'll see the shader folder basically it says copy the shader folder to your minecraft to your bin slash shader folder. He doesn't explain this too well. Some people are going to think that you need to make a new folder or they're going to freak out because they haven't got a folder. I have got a folder because I have already copied this through but uh, normally you wouldn't have this folder here. So all you have to do actually is just copy this folder over here and it'll make a new folder. Um, and you'll have all the, uh, the files in there. Um, if you're on Windows, you need to delete your meta.inf uh, in your Minecraft.jar in here, uh, which is um, somewhere down here. But you don't need to do this on Mac OS X. Um, not sure why, but you just don't. That folder there, you'll need to delete that. Um, but on Mac OS X, you don't. So once you've done all that, um, just boot up your Minecraft game. Now you're going to see um, my server here a little bit. Um, 
So just load this up. So if we it's the sun's setting now, so as you can see the sun is reflecting in the water and the water is very reflective. Um we'll just put it on um, day so you can see what it's like in day. Uh the water does slosh a bit, um so it does move. Um it also changes, I've just done a little experiment here, it does change your moving water as well to reflective water. Um, I do believe it does do some reflections while it's moving, I'm not altogether sure. Uh, but as you can see it reflects all your all the blocks in your world and also the sky. So it makes it a lot prettier. Um, I don't believe there's any changes to ice. Um, I'm not sure on that one though. Um, so as you can see it's a little bit buggy but does work perfectly. Um, as you can see, I'm getting uh, about 40 frames per second. Normally, I would get 40 frames per second with this. This is on far render distance, so um, it does drop your FPS a little bit, but not too much. So, that was a quick tutorial on how to uh, get the water shader plugin, uh, sorry, mod uh, for Minecraft. Um, for more Minecraft, modding tutorials stay posted I will post some more